you start in high school? Why the script? What inspired you mm-hmm. to take this journey at the end? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I read uh, the, the short story, uh, which was in a collection, and I think uh, one of my producers, uh, Tr- Tressa Park, had uh, introduced me to this collection. And I think she had pointed me to another short story that I w- uh, was reading, but then uh, I started reading other shorts, and uh, uh, this was the first in that collection. And uh, yeah, I was really struck by that story in, in, in the way that it was it really um, took place in the future, but it felt so present because it was really about um, a family and a, a father, you know, trying to um, process uh, losing something that um, for him was just a, a tool, you know. Um, and that was interesting to me. I think a lot of times when a, a story deals with AI, it is always about this AI wanting to be a human. But in this case, it was about um, someone who wasn't AI trying to make sense of what it means to um, depend on a technology. You know, in his mind, it's just a piece of technology. He's frustrated because it's broken and he, he, he needs to get it fixed. And then that leads him to really ask deeper questions about all of that. And that, that seemed like a really interesting uh, pursuit. Yeah. Um, were, you look, were you looking for something that had AI in it? Or was no, it just, no, it no. Just... Yeah, yeah, no. I think, I think, in fact, what was most compelling about it was that it was a family drama. You know, it felt like it was really about what it means to be a part of a family, and I mean, it's a it's a very short story, you know, and uh, it it, um, it also, which was attractive to me because it allowed me to sort of really expand it and expand the world and the days and and even my own exploration of a family and my own struggles that I uh, have as a modern human being, and and so uh, I also knew that it would give me a lot of breath to to really explore the things that were. Um, pressing, you know, upon me as a human, and so uh, that was also attractive because, it, it, you know, the, the film or the short story takes place over a day, you know, it's, it's really about a day, and, and uh, so I was able to really kind of use that as a catalyst to, 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 to talk about things that were um, really, felt really important to me. Yeah, yeah, and uh, but you know, but all that to say, it, it was such a beautiful little piece of structure and family, and, and so well written that it. Yeah. Have you done that before? Though, so you done anything from a, a short no, story? no, I've never, I've never done that. Yeah, yeah. So it was, it was really great. Uh, working with Haley Lewis, can you talk about that? Uh, you know, working previously with her, and yeah. uh, you know how it's fun to collaborate. Yeah, I've I've had this fortunate. Uh, um, opportunity to work with Haley Lou Richardson again and um, I was able to work with her in Columbus the the first feature that I, I directed and it was such a um, yeah I mean it, it it felt so meaningful to to have her uh, be a part of that that first experience and she carried so much of the burden of that film I and mean, she was really not only a delight to work with but brought so much into uh, that film and and the success, uh, you know, of whatever the success that film has it, you know, so much of it is about her presence and her commitment to it. And um, so having an opportunity to make a second, you know, feature, um, uh, yeah, you know, like looking for an opportunity to to work with her again. And I I didn't necessarily at the time think I'm going to write something for Haley Lou, but no doubt at one point as I was writing, uh, I could imagine what she would bring, you know, just being more familiar with what she brings and the texture and and weight that she can give to something, um, yeah. And so uh, she read the script and and um, yeah. And so we're yeah, it's been and it's been great. We're we're sort of just starting again, but it's been fantastic. Yeah. Architecture, the importance of architecture and mm-hmm. um, how it how it is in, in this film with the family. Why, why is it important? Yeah, I mean, I think space is always important in in films because, um, or should be, you know, in my opinion, I think space can just be a setting and a background, and 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 uh, it's easy not to feel a sense of place because you're just uh, focusing on character and maybe the plot or something. But for me, going back to the films that have really always uh, 
felt so essential to me and filmmakers. I, I've always felt a real sense of place, and I think that's why they stay with me because um, because I feel like I, I've been spending time in in particular cinematic worlds. So that has always been important to me in the way characters move through it. And I think so much of this film takes place in the home of the Flemings. I, I think over 50% of the film is set inside that house. So I knew that um, that I wanted that space to also be its own kind of storytelling and, and, and the way in which both the characters and the family members see each other and move through it. Um, and it had to be particular as well because um, it, it, you know, it's a middle class family and um, so you, you want it to be a certain scale but still interesting. Um, so we were really fortunate to find uh, an Eichler house. He was this uh, very well-known developer of modern uh, architecture, uh, mid-century uh, modern architecture, uh, which mostly uh, his homes uh, exist on the West Coast, but there are three on the East Coast. They're very rare. They're all very close to each other, and one happened to be for sale not long ago, but it had nothing in it. And uh, really, it became a real canvas for us to kind of create our own future within this really dynamic space. So, yeah. Yeah, everything aligned for that. Space. Yeah, no, it was really fantastic. Um, the, uh, the, the, the cast and crew being very diverse, is that intentional on your fourth part? How, how does that, you know, does that kind of reflect yeah, the yeah. way you feel about how society is going? How does, yeah, yeah. I mean, I hope it goes in that direction. I think there's always, it feels like it is, but, uh, you know, uh, as we can see, there's always some pushback. Uh, and there's a kind of, there, in the film itself, you know, I also wanted to expand our notions of diversity, you know, and, and we may think, you know, we're being progressive, but find that we have kinds of prejudices that we don't really even uh, know. And, and I think that's a constant ongoing thing for all of us, whether we're people of color or not, that we have our own biases and, and that this is constantly something that needs to be in check. And just practically, you know, to put that in check as crew and, and um, is just to make decisions to, to that you value diversity and it's going to um, be reflected in the choices that you make. So I think on the ground as like a, a crew and a family, you want that because for me, I believe in it. I believe it, it's, it's um, a better, you know, it creates better work, it creates better environments. And, and, and certainly that felt important to me to have a film that, that had um, that sort of reflection as well. I wish I had a real memory. Did you know you want to be human? That's such a human thing to ask, isn't it? Ito shi kyoku o tadoru, setsunaku tsukushi monogatari. After Yang.